guys! So today, I want to do a kind of random video, but not really random, but kind of random for me. And I wanted to share my favorite lip product. Um, I am not the typical girl when it comes to lip products. I don't like to wear a bunch of color on my lips. I like to wear basically just gloss or like chapstick. I like to wear something all the time, but not color. But I do have favorites when I do go to color, so I'll be sharing those as well. So I just have my, you know, bag full of lip products here, so I'm gonna dump them out, and we'll get started. <laughs> a few more, and then one more. Okay, so the first thing I have is something that I do usually, not every night, but a lot of times at night during the week and I exfoliate my lips and I use the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub from Lush. I know they have like a bubblegum flavor, a different flavor, and then they have this which I think is a chocolate and mint situation. Yeah, yeah. Little peppermint, little chocolate. It smells amazing. Um, I'm almost out. I need to get another one. But basically you can use this just with no water. You lick your lips, you do... I'm like flipping you off, sorry. <laughs> you lick your lips, you dip your finger in there and then you just rub it all over mm -hmm. and then you can either wipe it off with water which I usually do or you can lick it off because it's sugar and it tastes really good but somebody brought to my attention that you're just eating all of your dead skin so it's like oh I won't I won't be doing that anymore so yeah I really like this I need to pick up another one and I highly recommend it now usually I save I would save like my favorite thing for last for the you know suspense but I'm gonna go kind of drugstore to high-end because I'm just gonna combine them all in one video. So, the first actual lip product I have are my favorite lip products ever, and they are the EOS Lip Balms. Um, I literally have one of every color because I like to collect them, and, but then also, like, Santa Claus likes to bring them to me in my stocking. People like to just give them to me as small gifts or, you know, whatever, the Easter Bunny, so yeah. These are three of the ones I'm using right now. My all-time favorite is the lemon one. This one's kind of dirty. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what these are. I think the lemon one is the one with the SPF 15 in it, which is good because I always wear this one. Um, but yeah, my favorite is the lemon. And then for spring, summer, I've been really liking the... Um, and if you don't know, they're like egg-shaped. This one's half-used, so the pretty egg shape is not there anymore. But you can get the idea. Um, yeah, so, yeah, you know, this, oh, this is the Honeydew one. This is the Honeydew one. I've been using it a lot um, recently. I've been trying to, like, weed out my collection because I have multiples of each. So, yeah, and then the other one I've been loving right now is the, um, it's a vanilla one. It's got the, let me zoom in. This one has a Mickey head on it because it was part of the limited edition Alice in Wonderland. I mean, kill me, right? My favorite movie, my favorite lip balms. I almost died. But um, it was part of that collection, so it has Mickey, and it's so cute. But I've been using this one for summer, spring. It's not even summer yet, I'm going insane, but yeah. So yeah, I love EOS lip balms. I have multiple in my purse, in my car, by my bed, all over the place because I love them. I constantly have to have one of them on, so yes. My favorite lip product chapstick I like to wear before bed is the Nivea A Kiss of Milk and Honey Soothing Lip Care. It's just basically like a balm. Um, I've talked about this before. This is a new one, I had to get a new one. Oh, look at that. Um, but it smells amazing, it feels amazing, and it lasts all night on my lips, so I really like to use this right before I go to bed, so that's a fave. Also, just had to throw it in here, the classic chapstick situation. I prefer the cherry one because it reminds me of my childhood. <sighs> Wait, is this cherry? Yeah, yeah. Cherry, strawberry, the sunscreen one, the black one, the medicated one, I have them all. Um, but I prefer the cherry, so it's always just nice to have this around, so that I'd mention it. This one has been one of my faves for years, and I prefer the pot of it, but it's in my car, and I'm way too lazy to go down and get it out of my car. So I have it in the tube form, and it's the Smith's um, Rosebud Solve. This stuff is amazing. I've been using it since high school, and um, it's not just for your lips. You can use it for, like, your cuticles, your knuckles, your dry elbows. You know, it's just kind of like, you know, like a Vaseline, but I like this better. So it smells really, really good, and I love it on my lips. So always a fave. And I'll always have this around. Moving into when I want to have some color. Um, I Somebody mentioned this lipstick on YouTube a while ago and so I picked it up because I really really liked it and I like the color and it is... Uh, who, who makes this? Is this Rimmel? 
they should yes Rimmel um, this is the uh, moisture renew lipstick 380 in vintage pink let's get that up so it's just kind of like a mauve color um, when I was I did some sort of show and I wore this in it and I really enjoyed it it smells really really good it's really moisturizing and it's a really pretty color so I really like that and my hands about to get real messy with swatches y'all Amy swatching today next probably my favorite drugstore lip product and it's not gonna be a surprise because everybody's favorite but it's Revlon lip butters um, I have five of them I wish I could have all of them but I just don't need all of them I don't have the space for all of them so I've just kind of got a little bit of everything not even really I have a lot of neutrals and then like a red but I have sugar frosting which is my favorite one to wear um, it's just kind of like a neutral pink that you're probably not even gonna be able to see on camera Yep, you can see it's a little shimmery down there um, but these are super moisturizing they feel like I'm wearing chapstick but it gives me a little bit of color so can't not love that this one is creme brulee which is a basic nude color BAM those just gleam in the sun beautifully don't they I think I just broke that but oh well um, this one is a cute one it's creamsicle which matches my shirt should have worn this today very pretty you cannot see these but it is what it is okay these are like all broken rude and then I have gumdrop which is like a I don't know why I bought this one I will never wear this but it's like a lavendery color so maybe I just liked the color it's over there and then I have the red one which is candy apple and I do wear this one a lot I get a lot of use out of that bam that's a good one so yeah those are my Revlon lip butters I love them I'm gonna go wipe my hand really quick hold your horses okay so moving on I've talked about this product before as well and it is again I don't know what it's called but it's the L'Oreal lip stain something about like no I have no idea I was gonna try to guess but it's the endless red color um, I talked about this in one of my faves videos it's just a good red lip stain for when I have an audition or something I just feel like looking beautiful so loving that okay and then my last drugstore lip product is I only have one of these but I really really like them so I'm thinking about picking up more and it is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain and Balm I used to hate the commercials with Jessica Biel like saying this long title like so what was the tagline like have you ever been bitten or something it was really really stupid but I tried one and I really liked it and this is the color uh, lovesick um, it's really really pretty I'm gonna do this even though it's gonna stain my hand all day so you're welcome but it's just a really pretty nice different color I was wearing this in my last video my spring haul video um, if you were wondering I think I may have just made that up but yeah I really like this I love the pencil big lip glossy situation so anytime I see those I'm willing to try them because I just think they're convenient and they're fun so yeah so there's that now kind of moving into higher end situations the first brand I want to talk about is Jouer and you guys know I love Jouer I've been talking I won't stop talking about their um, moisture matte tint whatever I've been wearing on my face um, but how I discovered them was through Birchbox through their lip products and the first one I have is the Jouer conditioning lip treatment lip enhancer this is a little sample size I have the full size once again in my like emergency beauty kit in my car and I'm not about to go downstairs and get that but um, this stuff is amazing it's probably really dirty so yeah I'm not gonna show you that um, it's, it's just really moisturizing it's really glossy it looks really pretty and it smells really good so I am such a huge fan of this I immediately bought the full size of it so very pleased with that and then also I got some samples of their um, miniature lip glosses so I picked up two of their full size ones which are kind of neutral that I can wear a lot because as I said I don't like to wear a lot of color on my lips just because I feel like I don't know so this one is in glisten and it's just this really pretty um, like gold shimmery color but it obviously doesn't look gold on your lips it's just a good shimmery gloss to wear on top of things or by itself and then I got I actually got the sample size of this and I loved it so much I got the full size and this is in Mirage and it's kind of it looks very pinky mauvey red in the bottle but it's very sheer when you put it on here let me swatch for you oh that really didn't work it out but once you like rub it out it's just kind of like a, it's like my lips but like a little bit better so that's why I like this one 
So yes, I love Jouer. Next I have another bomb type deal, but it's not a drugstore, so I put it over here in this end of the video, and it's the Kiehl's Lip Balm Number no. 1 in Mango. Um, I like Kiehl's. They kind of sadden me because a lot of their stuff has parabens in them, and I, again, I don't completely know what I'm talking about, but I just know that if I can avoid them, I do. So, um, like, even this has one paraben in them. I love... I'm gonna go off on a little Kiehl's tangent for a second. I love their um, avocado eye cream, but it had all five parabens in it, and it's like right by my eye, so I know like the parabens would just crawl into my eyes and kill me, so I don't use it anymore, but I still have this. I really mainly love this for the scent of it. Um, oh my god, it just smells so good. It's just mango scented, it's beautiful. It's, um, does it have, SP oh yeah, it has to be a, blah, 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 blah. It has SPF 4 in it, which that's kind of random, but whatever. It's basically like another Vaseline, but this one's mango flavored and it's delightful and I like it. So yeah, I like that in the summer. It's a little bit thicker, so I enjoy that. This product also doesn't have any color, but I do have the ones that do have color and I wanted to share. But it is the sugar, or the fresh sugar lip treatment. This is just a sample size. I have a sample size of all of the flavors because I feel like I get them from Sephora or from Birchbox or from whatever. So yeah, I really like them. This one's a little janked, but it's really, really nice. This one's just like the clear one. I usually like to use this after I scrub my lips because it's like the best combination and I just feel like I have new lips on my face. But yeah, I really like this brand. I have the rose colored one too and I like that a lot. I just couldn't find it for this. <laughs> now I have the first lip pencil situation that I found and loved and I still wear this all the time and it's the Chubby Stick from Clinique. And this one is Chunky Cherry and it's so pretty. I've used mine down quite a bit. Um, but it's just a really good like sheer glossy red to wear and I told you I really like the pencil situation so I'm just really down for it and I love the formulation of this it's very moisturizing stays on for a good amount of time and I just enjoy it so there's that I also have this it's the Tarte um, Lip Surgeon's Natural Matte Lip Tint I hate matte nail polish I love matte lipstick um, Again, I was in some sort of show, I don't remember what, probably Peter Pan or Annie or something, and this was really, really great for that because it wasn't, like, my hair wouldn't stick to my lips, if that makes sense. Um, what is this? Did I say the color? This is lively. Um, it's just so pretty, and it's just, I don't know, I liked the finish look on me, like, I, it just, it just blew my mind because I'd never, like, thought about a matte, like, lipstick before. Does that, that sounds crazy, but I said I'm not a typical girl. I don't wear a lot of lipstick. So I got this, my mom knows I like Tarte, so for like my birthday or for Christmas, she gets me Tarte makeup kits from Sephora, and this was in one of them, so it just, it was just a, a surprise, and I was really, really enthralled with it, and enthralled, is that even a word? I was thrilled with it? Whatever, it doesn't matter, but that is the color and it's beautiful and I am a fan and I want to pick up more of these. Maybe a red one. Maybe I'll look for a red one. I'm out of breath, you guys. Like this talking is hard. And then the last lip product I have is a traditional actual lipstick and it's from MAC and you'd think I have a bunch I would have a bunch of MAC lipsticks for as much as I love MAC, but as I said I don't wear lipstick so I don't. But the one I do I have more than one, but the one I wear a lot is um, from the Disney collection. This is the one that Kevin used on me in my, in our, um, he did my makeup video. Um, he chose this because how could you not? But it's called Amplified Heartless. So it was called. Um, but it's just a really good, like, brick red color. Um, oh yeah, looks, it's this one. Looks real good. Um, I'm sorry you can't get this one anymore, but MAC has a billion red lipsticks. This is just, this is just the one I happen to own. But I do like to wear red lipstick quite a bit for performances and such. I find the MAC formulation great, and I feel like, obviously, because that's what everybody uses. But, yeah, I think that about sums us up here. I'm going to go, uh, I don't know what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go do something. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Stay tuned. Um, I think I'm going to do the Draw My Life tag, because I've been watching those and I have a whiteboard, so why not? And yeah, so I'll see you soon with that. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.